Pentar kills, 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 kills. Thank you all for joining me on the fourth episode. I am so thankful to have your support. I couldn't do this without you. Today we begin with Tyrone C playing as Corky who joins the battle with Trundle being laid to rest with Corky starting off this sequence and Broloff also gets caught away from the tower as well along with Ari forcing the enemies away and she ends up sacrificing herself to Annie but Corky continues on with his eyes set on revenge doing tons of damage. He has a triple kill and Jonna takes it from behind for the quad. He Valkyries to Graves wanting that last kill and lands a missile. He fires another but misses and he's taking tower hits. Graves tries shooting but a missile glitch kills him for the tower dive penta kill. They end up pushing with the enemy team surrendering. In second place, we have Manimal as Ari and her team in the blue base, but Warwick gets caught and stunned by the arrow with Ari ulting to a better and safer position. I'll speed this up a bit for you because her team is going to engage, but one by one they will all die and she will be forced to TP back to base and try to stop this dangerous push and buy her ally some time. Warwick spawns in with her and they're both heading for the mid turret, making this a 2v5 engagement. The enemies are taking out the tower as fast as they can. War comes in tanking a lot of CC, enough for Ari to come in for the orb double kill. TF is ignited, flashes, and Ari follows up now having her ult to escape GP's damage, but he flashes as well with another Q giving her some health. She immediately ults back into the fight with a charm onto GP, and the last ult tick pouncing back in, having Foxfire to finish off for the Penta kill and securing her team time to regroup. We flash right into the gold medal clip and the jumping Yordle having Cody from player POV playing as Ziggs who just recently had some of his allies die near Baron in an attempt to stop the enemy team from taking it. The task is left to Ziggs alone and he's walking to the Baron wall. He throws a south to charge for quick vision seeing that Baron is almost dead. He starts heading in around for a better position launching the nuke right on top of all five enemies with a bouncing bomb now taking out Garen and an auto attack on Nocturne for the double kill. He heads back in with Nasher almost dead. He throws a bomb at Olaf and steals Baron with the AoE. He turns now to the two left, but he gets snared. Lux gets hit with the red buff slow and is fleeing now. Ziggs flashes in pursuit, landing a bomb in one auto attack to secure the one by Penta kill and Baron steal. <laughs> on the previous question, if I want to have fun, I don't play law because I rage and get headaches. That's how we should all live our lives. What about dead humans? What do you do? Go around saying swoosh every time you open a door? Oh god. You have a learned a much young grasshoppers. Live your life to the fullest and don't take no for an answer. No, the answer is 42. If you enjoyed watching, please consider leaving a rating. I really appreciate you guys as my subscribers and I couldn't be where I am today without you. Today's answer to the question is simple. Time or money. Leave your creative answers below and don't forget to check out these other videos. Hordes of native seminars igniting a statewide warpath. There came an evil. An evil that turned friend into foe and foe into friend. An evil that swept across the lands of Rune Terra. My name is Jerry. Swash! Make sure you remember to subscribe. You see that big yellow button down there? If you click it, you'll be updated constantly with our videos. So make sure you, make sure you, make sure you remember to click that yellow button down there and subscribe.